This P0017 repairing video is dedicated to Audi's drivers. If your Audi is getting a P0017 error code, this video is going to show you 4 practical solutions to fix the error code at home. Use the Zeus app to scan your vehicle and see the error code P0017. It indicates that the camshaft position sensor A for bank 1 does not correlate to the signal from the crankshaft position sensor. Here are 4 of the most practical solutions to fix Audi's P0017 error code. Method A, Oil Change Locate the oil drain plug on your vehicle and place an oil collection pan underneath it. Use a socket ratchet to remove the plug from the oil pan on your vehicle. Once the plug is removed, the oil should start flowing out into your collection pan. Once all the oil is drained, replace the drain plug and tighten it back on. The oil filter is usually located beside the oil pan or under the hood of your vehicle near the engine. Place the collection pan under the filter there would be oil in the filter itself that could be hot. So it is important that the oil goes into the collection pan. Spread a bit of fresh oil evenly on the new filter's gasket. Then install the new oil filter. Tighten the filter additional three quarters of a turn. Be sure not to over tighten. To fill the vehicle with fresh oil, you should first locate your oil fill cap at the top of the engine. Clean the cap before removing it. Take the cap off and place the funnel into the opening. Add the amount of oil specified in your owner's manual and then replace the cap. After the oil change, start the engine and let it run for a minute to bring your oil pressure up and recheck your oil level. To check oil levels, pull the dipstick out and clean it off. Replace the dipstick and pull it out again. The oil should be near the top dot or fill line. If it is close to the lower dot, you'll need to add more oil. If your oil levels are good, replace the dipstick and shut the hood. Place the used oil from your collection pan into an airtight container with a screw on cap. Make sure the oil is cool before transferring to the container. Used motor oil can be recycled at most auto stores or at recycling centers. Method B. The camshaft oil control valve. The camshaft oil control valves are usually located in cars that have engines with variable valve timing systems in them. First, carefully remove the camshaft oil control valve from the engine. Use a valve cleaner to clean the camshaft oil control valve. Then use a multimeter to proceed with a test on the camshaft oil control valve. At an ambient temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the valve resistance is between 6.9 ohms to 7.9 ohms. If you do not get a reading, this indicates that the camshaft oil control valve is faulty and needs to be replaced. Method C, the camshaft position sensor. The camshaft position sensor is located in the valve cover near the top of the engine, or it can be located at the front or rear of the cylinder head. First, Carefully remove the camshaft position sensor from the vehicle. Visually inspect the sensor to make sure it hasn't been contaminated by a leak from another engine component. Use a multimeter to proceed with a test on the camshaft position sensor. In order to get a correct reading, check your owner's manual to see the specific camshaft position sensor resistance range for your vehicle. If you do not get a reading, this indicates that the camshaft position sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced. Check to make sure the O-ring from the sensor hasn't fallen into its hole. Then replace it with a new crankshaft position sensor. Method D, the crankshaft position sensor. The crankshaft is most often located on the front underside of the engine. It can usually be found mounted to the timing cover. First, carefully remove the crankshaft position sensor from the vehicle. Visually inspect the sensor to make sure it hasn't been contaminated by a leak from another engine component. 
use a multimeter to proceed with a resistance test on the crankshaft position sensor. In order to get a correct reading, check your owner's manual to see the specific crankshaft position sensor resistance range for your vehicle. If you don't get a reading, this indicates that the crankshaft position sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced. Check to make sure the O-ring from the sensor hasn't fallen into its hole. Then replace it with a new crankshaft position sensor. So here are four of the most practical solutions to fix Audi's P0017 error code. After the repair, you can now use the Zeus app to clear the error code. And tap the rescan button one more time to make sure everything is fine with your vehicle.